Hey, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. Uh, I'm Mark. I'm here with Steve Martin. We're talking about Final Cut Pro 10.2. And uh, Steve's going to talk. I didn't even realize there's some new audio features in 10.2. We were just chatting a little before because we usually don't know what each of us are going to do when we do these things. We've each prepared separately and kind of so keep look it fresh. So we look surprised. Yeah, because like, we really are. Because wow, we that's... really are. <laughs> so um, he just, but he gave me, this is cool. So you want to check this out. All right. right. So there are two little audio features that were added to 10.2, and I personally find them really, really useful. Why do I find them useful? Because I edit a ton of voiceover. Mm -hmm. And when you, you have like, I, I can be editing, you know, 20, 30 minutes of voiceover, and a lot of times what I want to do is go through and remove all of the kind of the noise floor between all my vocal phrasing. Yes. You just want to get rid of that. You know, you mm -hmm. want it to sound like the audio is recorded in what's called a whisper room. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of times you don't have the luxury of whisper room. You got to get find a quiet, quiet place, and you got to. Frequently, you, know. you want room to room tone and more right. dramatic setting. Absolutely. But for voiceover, you don't want that room tone. You don't want it. You want yes. it clean. So, I'm going to show you the tool that really helps me out uh, with um, with voiceover. All right. and, okay, so um, I'm going to just. This is my friend Damian Allen, who actually did the shake training way back. For I remember. Apple. Actually, remember? he did the first motion training too. He like, did. My, he's, the very first motion training. He's like I was at. a. He's like he a the first legacy hero. He is. So, um, I don't want to play a little bit of this, but you can see here between his vocal phrasing, there's some noise. There's some yes. noise there, and there's some noise there. And that's You're, not you clearing your throat or anything. Some, or? No, that's just like that could be like. It could be like computer fan noise. Yeah. It could be air conditioning. It could be any number of things. The right? cat. The, the cat, cat purring. Wow. Right, exactly. <laughs> so. What I'm going to do is show you my first really helpful 10.2 audio feature. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go up over here, and I'm going to hold down the R key to temporarily turn the selection tool into a range tool, yes. drag across, release my mouse, release the key, and I still maintain my selection arrow. Now, I'm Which gonna, is a great tip in and of itself, it I is, have to say. It is a great tip. <laughs> so under the modify menu, no, notice this used to say volume. Now it says adjust volume. Uh, ah, uh -huh. But here it is right here. Silence, silencio. Uh, so, with a little negative infinity yeah, sign. Yeah, negative infinity. Like that's that. the noise floor. Uh -huh. That's, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. So I, boop, just like that, if, you, if I click off of this, notice it added four keyframes and it just it's completely silenced. Boom, boom, dropped it down. That's kind of like, um, it, it reminds me, you talked about before the broadcast safe for video, where you slam down video yep. to 100. This is like slamming down audio to zero. Yeah, and what's really great is I could just like, Quickly go through here. Oh, look, here's another area. And just shift geez, R. Shift R, doom, doom. Uh, modify. And I, I know what you're thinking. Why yeah, it don't takes you, a little bit of time to go up there. You, why don't you make a keyboard shortcut? Well, before I do that, before I'm going to show you one other feature, then we'll okay. get into the keyboard shortcuts. Okay. Let's say for whatever reason, I needed to boost this section. Oops, I needed to boost this section of the audio. So I'm going to select that. And, uh, yeah. and I'm going to go up. And I'm, gonna go, I'm just going to. Boost that audio. Oh, you just what, drag it up. Oh, yeah. yeah. For, for whatever yeah. reason, I, that section is boosted. Quiet. Uh -huh. There's another command that's very handy where if I want to get everything within a selection range or even an entire clip back to zero dB, the default kind of like no no volume or amplitude where changes, it started, right? right? Where it started. Uh -huh. Go back to modify, adjust volume, uh, reset. Ah, okay. This is also new, so boom, yeah. brings everything back, back to zero to nice. I think those are two very handy little commands built into 10.2. Okay. Okay, now, you're going, that's great. Now let's get into keyboard shortcuts. Uh, I'm going to go to the command editor, do, 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 and I'm just going to go customize. Nice. Uh -huh. Right, now by default, it's, 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 it's set default. up with the default keyboard. We won't worry about that right now. Um, but if I go right. to the search field and type out silence, Okay, you'll notice that set volume to science is available. Okay. okay but yes. I'm not going to apply it as a key yet. I'm going to uh -huh. show you something else. I'm going to click that. I'm going to type. Remember, it said reset to zero dB. Yes. Reset. I'm going to show you. I didn't re reset. Rest. Re yeah. reset. Okay. Look at reset volume to zero, zero dB. dB. Uh -huh. Okay. Now. <sighs> you know what I discovered? A moment of silence. You know what I discovered? <laughs> what? Those commands are actually reversed. If you drop. If you drop reset volume onto a key, yes. it's really the it's the silence command. If you drop the silence command onto uh, onto a key, it's really the reset command. Apple somehow the engineer got it somehow slipped through. They're cues. backwards. They're backwards. So the the commands within the command editor they work in the menu when you're applying them, but in the command editor they're assigned backwards. They're assigned backwards. So really, if I want to do that silence thing, yeah. I have to use reset. So what I'm going to do is grab this, drag that onto that key. 
What are you dragging it onto? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm dragging the reset onto the shortcut that I want to use. So I want to okay. use S for silence. Oh, just a straight S with, with no modifier right. keys? No, yeah. Okay. I don't, you know, I know you use S for other things, but I don't care. I'm trying to make a point. Okay. I like S for silence. Okay. Okay, so you have to make a copy of the default command set. Yes. So to make, make copy, call the Steve's audio set, whatever. Yeah. Click OK. Great. Now that's assigned as an S. So I'm going to go for silence. S for okay. silence. But remember, I use the reset command yes. to do yes. it, not the silence command. Okay. So now if I go back here, I'm going to save, and I'm going to go over here, press R. Let me find a piece of, oh, right here. There's some no noise there, yes. so R, drag across, release mouth, boom, and let's press S to see what happens. Okay. Boop. Silent. Silent. Haha. -ha. But okay. I have to use the reset yeah. command to do I've it. I've seen some postings on the boards of people trying to set a keyboard shortcut for silence, and they're saying it doesn't work. I just this is it, why it does work, okay. and that's why. So now, if you go just if you go to the modify menu under silence, will you see that new let's keyboard find shortcut out. show up <laughs> under there? Let's under find there. out. So. Um, let's see where, adjust yes. volume, silence, yes, um, I'm sorry, there we go. Silence is signed S. S. Yeah, and it shows up. It's, it yeah, shows up. because you assigned it to the other one. Okay. No, okay, you know, <laughs> nobody's going to know that, right? No. So, that, that, you know, maybe by the time you watch this, there's an update out that addresses that. But, uh, <laughs> in, 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 you know, if not, this is a great thing you want to know, because I can see that's, keyboard shortcuts are huge. They, for doing oh, I, I, would, work. I would not want to do this without keyboard shortcuts. Because it's not just a menu, it's menu, drag over, go down. That's right. That's that's, right. I, I, I just wouldn't want to do right. it. It, it can save hours of time. Excellent. Steve, great tip. Thank you for digging in and finding out the stuff so we don't have to. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. So ripplettraining.com, if you want to know more about this stuff, get the full training because you will understand everything. This is the kind of thing that will save you hours of headache and just do the whole training. So there's new 10.2 features training, and then there's the core training. If you've never used Final Cut Pro 10 at all, you want to check that out, ripplettraining.com. Also, check us out on Facebook, on YouTube. Um, and Twitter. We're, we're in all those places. Just look up MacBreak Studio, look up Ripple Training. Okay, guys, thank you once again for watching MacBreak Studio.